Well, good morning, friends. It has, feels like it's been forever since I've seen you, even though I've been talking to you. Um, I am sitting on this backside of Ryan Ranch, looking at these gorgeous mountains this morning, and have some thoughts in my head. I wrote a poem last week called Access Denied, because uh, I got locked out of my house um, that I was uh, kind of house-sitting at with my purse inside, my phone inside, my credit cards inside, my car keys inside. <laughs> Access was denied. And it reminds me, and of course it makes you think about um, how awesome it is that we have keys that grant access, right? When I think I've shared with you guys before that when I worked at Cisco, there was a lot of places that we were able to go in and um, I had a badge and every door that I came to, I just put my badge to it. Bink access, bink access. If I tried to go someplace I wasn't supposed to go, bink, bonk, it will not let you in. Um, and people that come in off the streets or people that come in from other camp companies, they've got cards, they've got access cards, but their cards don't work on ours. They don't give access to Cisco for another Motorola employee, right? So your card is granted you the access for the places that you have the security to do that. And when I take that and I cross it over into the spiritual realm and I think about um, having access um, in the sense of all privileges, all prosperity, all healing, when I think about all the blessings of heaven, when I think about there being joy a fullness of joy in the presence of the Lord. When I think about um, peace that passes understanding, all these amazing, amazing characteristics and riches and things that God has stored up for us as his beloved children. Um, he not only says, I've stored these up. These are your blessings. This is your inheritance. This is what I have lavished upon you. But he says, you have access with confidence. And into this grace and you have access with confidence because of my presence and so his presence with us is the access card <laughs> to join him and co-create with him in all the world that's around us what did I just say that yes and so the things that are in our hearts that might stir up at times even with with prayer he says come boldly to the throne of grace that you can receive mercy and grace to help in your times of need. It doesn't mean like it's outside of us, but we have to tap in. It's just like um, like springs, right? The water's always there, but to get them to spring up and rise to the surface, right? And so for us to see that which is inside of us, the dreams, the promises, um, the things that he has declared to be manifested, right? Then we have to abide in that sense of we have to be aware and we have to allow and open up to receive. And sometimes we have to just settle too, also in our minds to be aligned with what he's spoken for us and, and to agree with it and open up to it. Right. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to kind of share a little bit to maybe get your juices during this morning. Maybe there's something that God has for us and he's wanting to remind us that we have access with confidence. Maybe he's just saying, Ooh, open up. Why baby? Because I got something good coming and I want you to receive everything I have for you. Yeah, maybe that's the case. So think about that. Um, pursue and get in a place of where you can meditate and sit in the presence of God and allow the things that he may want to show you to come to the surface for you to explore and for you to get revelatory um, uh, revelation on and um, that he can open our eyes more today than he did yesterday that will be more awakened today to um, engage and to move in the ring things of the spirit and to carry out supernaturally, supernaturally, everything that he intended as we move in power because of who we are. You're amazing and you're empowered and you are light to the world. You are salt to the earth. You are, you bring and carry a peace that passes the understanding of the affairs of men where they wrestle and struggle and contend and um, stay in the place of your peace. Hold your peace. Yeah. And maybe hold your peace. You figure it out. Anyway, have a great and glorious.
Mm, love, love, my friends, and victorious day.